Hey friends, Peter here, and in this video I will be covering how to create a hand-painted water texture. Typically video games will use a shader or liquid simulation for this sort of thing, but if you do need to hand paint your water, I'm basing this look off of pools or maybe shallow tropical waters of like the Maldives for example. Let's get started. First, open Photoshop and create a new square document, 2048 by 2048, 300 pixels per inch. Because Photoshop always has the background layer locked, we're going to double click that to rasterize it. And using the paint bucket tool, we will fill the layer with a medium blue color. Now, using a soft brush and a darker blue color, paint some spots throughout your image. And these can be placed randomly, but make sure to stay away from the edges for now. In order to make this tileable, we will go to Filter, Other, Offset, and offset it by 1024 by 1024 pixels. Next, fill in any gaps you see with more spots. You may have seen that I'm painting the spots on a separate layer. That doesn't really matter so much, but at this stage you will want to create a new layer and using a soft brush, paint some light blue web shapes. As you're painting this web, I recommend mixing in some rounder edges with harder edges and making sure none of your shapes are too symmetrical. These lines here represent uh, the light refracting from the surface of the water, so we want to make sure they're fairly loose and soft. We definitely want to offset the image again to check our seams, and uh, an easy hotkey to do this is alt Control f So that actually just repeats the last action we've done, and since the last thing we've done should have been the, um, the offset, that'll repeat the process quickly for you. So you can use that hotkey to switch back and forth and paint over your seams. Once you've painted over the seams there, we're going to create a new layer and name this Highlights. So I recommend using the hard round brush and selecting a lighter blue color to paint in these sort of uh, vein-like shapes. You don't need to strictly trace the webbing layer underneath, the lines can sort of go off in their own direction in some cases, and you don't need to connect all the lines uh, so they're not like cells or bricks or scales or something. Water is under a lot of different forces, so um, it should feel a little bit more organic and natural if you leave some lines just trailing off or faded away into the background. For those of you who might not be so familiar with Photoshop, um, here I'm switching between the brush tool and the eraser tool. So the hotkeys for those are B for brush and E for eraser, I believe. So um, just switching between those allows you to blend those lines a little bit better. While you're working on the highlights, offset the layer so you can see any seams or areas that are lacking detail, and go in and fix those. If you want to see the entire image, though, uh, properly, since we have multiple layers, you'll need to offset each individual one. That's unfortunately just the way Photoshop is. Um, I personally like, uh, I like working on several layers because if I mess up with the highlights or I mess up with the web, I can just go back in and erase or tweak that individual layer. But if you're confident with your skills, then you can actually just work on one layer. That's totally up to you. Our final step is to make sure that our texture tiles well. We will go to Edit, Define Pattern, and Layer, New Fill Layer Pattern. And this will pop up a little menu here. And if you change that 100% to something lower, like 50%, you'll see our texture repeat. And there you go. There is a tileable, hand-painted water texture. As always, please let me know if you have any questions, recommendations, or requests in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time!